So, so we really need a full critique um, of the system Thanks a lot. Um, and a real analysis of the root causes of climate change. A partial critique is, is, is not enough. Um, a partial critique only demands piecemeal solutions. And the advocates of single issue campaigns with their mainstream friendly approach will be, will be satisfied with reformist concessions from the state. We need to do a lot more than that. The climate movement sometimes suffers from this triage. The problem of the climate crisis is reduced down to a, a simple calculation of parts per million concentration. Um, the overriding importance of stopping runaway climate change seems to eclipse other concerns. Um, this, is, this is not really acceptable. We have, to, we have to bring all of our struggles together. You know, and, and a, a climate movement that engages in this kind of carbon reductionism uh, with, with simply reducing carbon emissions at the centre of its political project, um, rather than confronting domination itself, uh, risks being overly simplistic um, and actually rejecting the solidarity of other, other movements. And a climate movement that, that is based simply on this cold, poorly understood science um, is only going to have environmental management as its terrain. It's not really going to be about human development. So there's very little dif difference between this discourse of environmental management and, and the discourse of the establishment itself. Uh, we should be careful not to feed into this kind of rhetoric. We, and we really need to do more than just keep uh, concentrations of greenhouse gases down to 350 parts per million. Um, we need a full transformation of social relations, um, the social relations of capitalism and all its problems. So capitalism is not leading the world to catastrophe. Capitalism is the catastrophe. By its very function, it is catastrophic. Um, if we conceive of capitalism as only leading to catastrophe, um, then there is a separation between cause and effect. Now, we have yet to witness the full consequences of uh, historical ecological destruction. But they will come. There's a 30-year time delay, but they will come. Um, and it's because of this late delay between putting pollution into the atmosphere and catastrophe in its totality. So the degradation of, of life on Earth and, and of human existence in all of its forms is evidence of this problem in, in human social relations, which are as far-reaching as climatic destabilization. So it's said that the climate change is already happening. Attention is brought to the plight of, of those people in other parts of the world where, where, who already suffer from its effects. Yet these marginalized people were already suffering as a result of the impoverishment of colonialism, of lack of land sovereignty, of water privatization, of trade liberalization. They were already suffering. Climate injustice is a recent articulation which joins the litany of many injustices that many of the world's peoples have suffered from and continue to struggle against. And it will take more than a fresh articulation of injustice to inspire action in the lands and places where capitalist empire is based. We need to create the, the building of active global solidarity. Um, I just want to talk about the so-called green revolution. Um, I like to think of it as a sort of pseudo-revolution with the outward appearance of change but whose content is actually the, the secret reaffirmation of capitalist social relations. By creating this illusion, it is able to contain current discord, it is able to manage genuine dissent in such a way as not to, uh, simply, to main, not as simply to maintain the current order, but to reinforce it. Turning would-be dissenters into advocates of the future projects of capitalism. Um, this is, the, this is the contrivance of a system that's really struggling to maintain itself while giving the appearance of a historic change. Um, and they call for green jobs. We're not calling for green jobs, we're calling for real jobs. We're calling for sustainable work uh, as, as concrete labour. Not this, this, we, we want to eradicate this abstract labour of, of capitalist exploitation. We want real fulfilling work that, that isn't destroying the planet. And, and uh, we want to stop the exploitation of human and natural resources and give power to the, the workers themselves. So, 
the rhetoric of, of this crisis, uh, the climate crisis, you know, the, the, the economic crisis, it kind of feeds into this idea that we have to trust those people that are in power. Um, the, the rhetoric of crisis is continuing to be employed by the technocrats to increase their power and control. Crisis management serves as the, the state's raison d'etre, and the creation of crisis is, is in fact its very function. However, the climate crisis is real. Um, it's a symptom of the catastrophe that we can call capitalism. And the discourse around climate change is a field that's hotly contested, uh, where new languages of domination are being developed in order to reinforce old authoritarian systems of control and repression. I mean, you need only look at the, uh, the laws that have recently been brought into Denmark to, to limit and control protests. They've used the COP15 as an opportunity, the police have used the COP15 as a power grab to gain more control over civil society. It's not acceptable.